Welcome back. In this video, you will listen to aortic insufficiency, will know the treatment, the symptoms, and the presentation. This is a diastolic decrescendo murmur. So it's diastolic, which means after the second heart sound, and decrescendo, which means decreasing. To better appreciate the murmur, place the stethoscope at the 4th or 5th left intercostal space. And this is how it sounds like. The most common causes are myocardial infarction, congenital heart diseases, Infective endocarditis, which can cause acute aortic regurgitation, Marfan syndrome, syphilis infection, and seronegative spondylar arthritis. Normally, the aortic valve forms some resistance against the heart flow. So, in cases of aortic insufficiency, we do not have this resistance, and the pulse is very strong. This gives us five signs that we can look for. Exam makers love to ask about these signs. Muller's sign, which is a pulsating uvula. Quink sign, which are pulsating nail beds. Mosset sign, which is head bobbing. Hammer's sign, which is wide bounding pulse. And Hill's sign, which is high blood pressure in the lower limbs and low blood pressure in the upper limbs. As with all cardiac murmurs, transthoracic echo is the initial test, transesophageal echo is better, and catheterization is the most accurate test. The treatment is mainly focused on in increasing the forward flow of the heart. Unfortunately, no treatment whatsoever can prevent or delay the inevitable left ventricular dilation. Which means that once the murmur is diagnosed, it's only a matter of years before the patient develops left ventricular dilation. The treatment we use is only focused on controlling symptoms. The first line is ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. The second line is inotropics like calcium channel blockers. And finally, we have surgery, which is valve clipping, or valve replacement. Surgery can become first line in cases of acute aortic regurgitation, such as the case with myocardial infarction. To make memorizing heart sounds easier, I've designed an app called Heart Sounds. The app includes the murmur explained in this video, along with every other murmur. You can browse them very easily, Compare them together, listen to them, know the causes, the symptoms, and everything else. And as a cherry on top, there is even a quiz section that you can use to test your retention and make sure you stay updated. It is completely free in the Play Store. I'll have the link in the description. 